Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Gavin Assidy again here with you. And for this video, I'll do an ASM1 custom class. First video of the custom class series. And for the first few seconds, I'll give you guys a screenshot of everything I use so you can visually see it. But I'm also going to go over it. But if you need to, you can just go back and pause the video. So there were only a few comments on the To Be A Pub Stomper video with custom classes that you guys wanted me to use. And this one was suggested by DR's Finest. He said to use the ASM one with any attachments and any perks. So for this, I'm running the ASM one competence, which is a professional gun. This variant of the ASM one has plus one damage, plus one handling, minus one accuracy, and minus one range. I do have a few of the variants of the ASM one, but the reason I use this one is mainly because of the plus one damage. I really like being able to drop somebody just that extra bullet faster and uh, and the handling is better so that's nice. The accuracy, it's minus one but honestly I'm not too worried about it because I feel like the ASM-1 has a fair, fairly good accuracy to begin with and the minus one range isn't really that big of a deal to me because I'm rushing so I'm all up in everybody's faces so I'm not too worried about the range. And to be completely honest, if you just tap fire, you can still kill somebody at a pretty decent range with the ASM-1. So that's why I like this variant the best, at least out of the variants that I do have. Unfortunately, I do not have an elite weapon yet for the ASM-1. But for the time being, this is the best one that I do have. So as far as attachments, I got first off the silencer, just like I said again, just to stay off the minimap. And secondly, we have the foregrip. It's minus one accuracy so that foregrip helps even just if it's a little bit it still helps. And to be honest it's not really the most important attachment. You could even get away with using pretty much any other attachment. So then moving on to the perks. For perk slot one we got lightweight and I'm running perk one greed so I also have low profile. And the reason I, I use low profile like I've said in previous videos is just I can't stress enough to stay off the map. I find that really important and the best thing you can do in Call of Duty is just stay off the minimap. So next for Perk 2, I got Peripherals. I just like to have that bigger minimap just so I can see, you know, if an enemy fires off in the distance, I just have a little bit more visually to see where they are. And also, in case of a friendly UAV or whatnot, and I just get that much more room to see where everybody is. And lastly for Perk 3, we got Blast Suppressor, again, just to stay off the minimap. And I am running perk 3 greed, so I have scavenger. And, I mean, like I've said before, personally, I just like to have that extra ammo. I know some people can run around without scavenger, but uh, I just can't do it. I need scavenger. I hate worrying about ammo. I get really obsessive about it. And, you know, I'm constantly reloading, so I, I just need to have that extra ammo on me. Next, to move on to the score streaks, first off, we have a UAV with the attachments as extra time. And it is only 500 points. Uh, there's a few ways I do run the UAV. I like to either do threat detection, but for this purpose of having low point value, I just use the extra time. And again, it works with the, the peripher peripherals perk because I can uh, see more of the minimap and see where the enemies are. To move on to the next score streak, we have the Warbird. And for the attachments for those is, again, extra time and aggressor which is the ai controlled and it seeks enemies and that point value is at 1100 i use this kill streak just because i like to have real good lethal kill streaks and the reason for the aggressor attachment is because i just like to be able to still like run around and kill people and not worry about using a score streak and sitting in the corner i just like to be able to keep the action going while my kill streaks do the work for me the last score streak I have is the Paladin, and the attachments for those is the 30mm cannon and sleight of hand. <clears throat> and this score streak is 1400 points. Uh, it does kind of contradict what I just said about uh, letting my kill streaks do the work for me, but I just like to have this one because it's a, a high kill streak and it can do a lot of damage. And I definitely rather have at least one of them AI controlled versus me sitting in the corner for too long using all my kill streaks. But the reason for sleight of hand is pretty obvious. I just like to have my my paladin reload faster, so I don't have to worry about that wasting time. And the 30 millimeter cannon, just so it's a little bit stronger. 
it is kind of a little bit harder to get at 1400 points but it's definitely worth it because you can end up with a lot of kills and i feel like in combination with the warbird while the warbird's going and then your paladin they the enemy just has no chance it's like practically a spawn trap when you're just like killing them two seconds after they spawn they just have absolutely no chance that's it for the actual class setup itself but next i wanted to kind of talk to you about how i use this class and what kind of game modes i would recommend and just the overall play style i would use when using this type of class first i would definitely recommend rushing a lot just completely get in the enemy's face and just give them no chance to react because this gun just annihilates at short range like you can drop people in like it sometimes feels like half a second this gun is so strong and you could just do so much damage at up close and it definitely benefits a gun since it is a submachine gun and you don't want to be farther away it takes a lot more longer to kill someone at a range but i mean if you have to this gun is definitely capable at killing at medium to longer ish ranges but you would have to tap fire you couldn't just spray full auto and and nail somebody there was an update a while back which i'm sure most of you are already aware of that made the asm1 stronger and ever since that patch this gun is just godly it just it, it it's up there with the bow honestly for me i feel like it can compete especially at close ranges some game modes that i would recommend playing with this weapon is Uplink. I definitely feel like this is a good game mode to play, especially if you're looking for a lot of kills. I think that this game mode has good spawns. They're pretty concentrated in one spot. You're not just spawning all over the place. And definitely good game mode for this gun. Um, some other game modes would be Hardpoint and Momentum. Just any of those kind of game modes where you're just forced to go to one point in the map and then basically fight it out to the death. One thing that makes me hesitant though, however, about momentum is just that honestly it's hard to keep your deaths down in momentum there's just so much going on and everybody's just throwing grenades everywhere and honestly i don't really like the spawn too much in momentum they just seem kind of everywhere and not focused like other game modes and as you might already know with this gun and especially this class setup you can do really well i literally had two games in a row where i had 80 plus kills and as you have seen in the first uh, game on this video I had 93 kills and the second video I had 80 plus kills well that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, just leave a comment on the next custom class you want me to use and please like comment subscribe and I hope you guys have a good one